Hey everyone, Firegross here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use my new 3.16 calculators for evasion, armor, energy shield recharge rate, and reservation efficiency. Before I get started with this video, I do want to point out that you don't even have to watch the video, I'm including the calculators in the description below. This video is just an explanation if you want to understand what's going on. All the calculators function off the same principle. The green boxes are where you're going to input values and the blue boxes are the results of the calculations being made. So with the first armor calculator, you're basically going to be determining how much armor your character has and then how much damage you're going to take. And then it's going to tell you how much damage you mitigate versus how much damage you actually take. Here you can see comparison between the old values and the new values. So I'm just gonna use an example of say 20,000 armor here and our incoming damage is 4,000. This results in mitigating half of the damage. So we mitigate 2,000 damage, we take 2,000 damage. With the old armor formula, we were only mitigating 1.3 thousand damage and we were taking 2.6 or almost 2.7 thousand damage. Additionally, there's a little damage scale down here. And so this is gonna be based off the armor values that you put up here. Um, but it, instead of having to input the amount of incoming damage, it's going to basically suggest a bunch of values for the incoming damage and then you're going to be able to see how much you mitigate and how much damage you take so with 20,000 armor a hit of 500 is being mitigated by almost 89 percent it means you're only going to be taking 56 out of the 500 damage on the other hand for a hit of 10,000 you're going to be only be mitigating 2.8 thousand and taking 7.1 thousand so the second armor calculator is just a way for you to sort of figure out how much armor your character is going to have. Now, as I explained down here, there are a lot of assumptions being made, and I'm not suggesting that your, you know, average character is going to have 26,000 armor. These are just sort of the values from the tier 1 bases. So an astral plate is going to give you 711 armor, spiked gloves are going to give you 220. Now, these values can go up if you run additional prefixes that, that buff these amounts. You may also not use the T1 bases. There are also some assumptions, such as using granite flask of iron skin, using a level 20 determination level 20 defiance banner you can feel free to just change all these depending on what you want you know don't these values here are just sort of presets you know but feel free to change all the values in green and then you're going to get values in blue and so basically having the t1 bases having a granite flask of iron skin having determination with the buffed values next patch having defiance banner we're ending up with about twenty six thousand armor So moving on to evasion, our first calculator basically is going to show us how much evasion chance we have against tier 16 monsters. Now, as I've written in here, the monster accuracy for tier 1 maps is 290, so you should change monster accuracy to 290 if you want to calculate how much evasion you're going to have when you enter maps, but you know, I'm only interested in calculating tier 16 here, for example. So in a tier 16 map, if you have 12,000 evasion rating, that's giving you a 60% chance to evade. Now, if we have 0% increased blind effect, but we do have blind, that's giving us almost a 66% chance to blind. Now, the important thing to understand here is that blind effect is a new stat coming in 3.16. It basically is going to buff the effect of blind, and blind reduces enemy accuracy by 20%. So 100% increased effect of blind is going to be the same as 40% less monster accuracy. Now below you can see a comparison with the old values and the old values basically add in the old blind and also a 40% chance to dodge, although you can change that. So if you want to calculate for 60% chance to dodge and you know say a higher base evasion rating, you can see how much attack mitigation you were getting previously. Now I would recommend using lower evasion ratings here since on the current patch we aren't using high evasion ratings you know this is something that's going to happen on 3.16 but you know feel free to sort of play around with this as you want a reminder that the green boxes are the values you want to change and the blue boxes are the ones that are calculating uh information for you uh as you can see here the monster accuracy is being uh, attained from this cell so if you want to calculate for tier one on the old values you just need to change to this cell the second calculator is similar to the armor calculator where we're just sort of making a bunch of assumptions and listing the tier one values for various things you're getting a jade flask of reflexes i believe we're getting a defiance banner the new buffed grace etc all that sort of stuff and that gives you a very similar amount of twenty five and a half thousand evasion in 3.16 So the reservation efficiency calculators are a little more complicated, but that's because there's kind of a lot more going on, but I have made them as simple as possible. So the first calculator is basically a way for you to tell how much mana reservation you have now compared to how much you're going to have next patch. So the way that this conversion works is that if you had, for example, 20% reduced mana reservation this patch, that's going to end up becoming 40% 
reservation efficiency in 3.16 and 40% re uh, reservation efficiency is going to translate to having 28.57 reduced reservation on the current patch so basically at the 20% value the amount of mana you're going to be reserving is going to be even less so this is kind of a buff at small values an easier way to understand this change is basically solo players are going to be able to reserve more auras and aura bots and aura stackers are going to be res able to reserve a lot less auras now the second calculator over here is for if you understand how much reservation efficiency you're going to have and you want to see how many auras you can reserve with it so if you have 50 percent reservation efficiency this is going to translate to having 33 percent reservation reduction and that's going to allow you to reserve three 50 percent auras with zero percent unreserved mana left over alternatively you could reserve four 35 percent auras with 6.67 percent unreserved mana left over or you could even reserve 625% auras with 0% unreserved mana left over. And as you change this value, you know, the values in the boxes below are going to change. So if we change it to 100, you can see we can now reserve 4 50% auras with nothing left over. Or you can reserve 5 35% auras with 12.5% of your unreserved mana left over. The third calculator is far more practical and it's probably what most of you want to end up using and it basically allows you to tell this calculator exactly how many of each or type of aura you want to run and then the calculator will tell you how much mana reservation efficiency you're going to need in order to reserve all these auras as well as having mana left over. So let's just say I'm playing a poison bow character. I want to reserve grace and malevolence to start off with. Those are two 50% auras so I put two into this box. I want to reserve say Herald of Agni for the increase or for the more poison damage and that's one 25% aura and finally I may want to include defiance mana for the extra evasion that's a 10% aura and that this means I'm going to end up reserving 135% of my total maximum mana now obviously this isn't going to be possible without a bunch of reservation efficiency but I need 35% reservation efficiency in order to do this right and so basically and you can just see up here you know it tells you that you're getting 26% effective reservation reduction, which is what we would require to reduce this number to 100. But now down here is also a sort of scale that shows you how much reservation efficiency you want to aim for in order to have certain amounts of unreserved mana left over. So if I were to aim for 65% reservation efficiency, this would allow me to reserve all those auras and still have 18% of my mana left over in order to actually cast my skills, uh, you know, without running out of mana. You know, it gives me a sort of a... A bit of a window in order to deplete my mana a little bit and then restore it via flasks or whatever other mechanisms that you want to use. Finally are the energy shield calculators. Now this is far more simple because of course you know energy shield doesn't really need calculating. This is just to sort of figure out what's going on with energy shield recharge since some of you probably forgot and you, you need to freshen up on it. Um, so this is just listing all the sources of faster start of energy shield recharge as it will be in 3.16. So there are the new body armor and the shield suffixes added in and then some items that you know in some cases you probably haven't heard of and then you can basically just choose which of these you want by filling in the boxes here according to the maximum value now i probably should have done the armor and evasion calculators the same way but uh here we are so let's say you wanted to add chevron's wrappings you would read that the maximum value is 10 and then you would just add 10 into this box and so down here it's going to give you the total faster start of energy shield recharge and that means that in order for your energy shield to recharge you need to wait 0 0.99 seconds without taking damage the second calculator is just the energy shield recharge rate and we're doing this because this is getting buffed significantly next patch and this is all this is you know like above this is a list of all the items that are going to be giving a faster energy shield recharge rate and also in some cases uh reduced energy shield recharge rate and then you can sort of do the same thing as above you can just copy the maximum value into the attained value over here and it's going to calculate your increased energy shield recharge rate and then it's going to tell you how much of your maximum energy shield you're recharging per second with and without wicked ward so just as an example if the only source of increased energy shield recharge rate i had was the blightwell amulet which gives you a whopping 400 percent increased uh energy shield recharge rate that means that without wicked ward i'm restoring 165 percent of my maximum energy shield in a single second or with wicked ward 99 percent of my energy shield now actually i kind of think this is crazy and Blightwell surely has to be nerfed or something because uh, I've tested this out in game and it's kind of insane once you start stacking up faster charge, a uh, faster start of energy shield recharge. I, I don't think it's going to survive because basically this combo of running the new faster 
energy shield recharge rate mods in conjunction with blight wall basically means that if you wait a single second without taking damage you restore 100 percent of your energy shield basically in a single second you know so like one second you don't take damage to the next second you restore all your energy shield and with wick you can take wicked ward without any penalty basically because if you do take the damage it's just going to continue to restore it it's kind of busted um but i'll let you guys figure that out i just sort of included this in here because i was putting this calculator together and i came across this by accident i was like wait that's broken and i tested it out in game and it worked out the way it says it does which surely this doesn't survive but anyway uh th that's uh those are the calculators if you like this video give me a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one